The debate over the all-new 2010 Honda Crosstour centers around the car's controversial design. And it would have to, because otherwise this Accord-based Nouveau wagon is inarguably good. Now I can live with the sloping rear roof line and the Crosstour's overall cohesion as it's viewed from the side. But it's the kitchen appliance-like grill, a la the Ridgeline, which is where the Crosstours look sour for me. This is a face only a mother could love. But perhaps if Honda gets the message, there'll be hope for the Cross Tours mug somewhere down the line. Honda uses one engine here, the 3.5 liter V6 option from the Accord, making 271 horsepower, and in the case of my tester, driving all four wheels through a five-speed auto. And in most ways, the Cross Tour feels and drives like the excellent Accord sedan, light and nimble with responsive handling, pleasing amounts of power and precise steering. But thanks to specific cross-tour suspension tuning, like more aggressive spring rates and shock absorbers and stabilizer bars designed for less body roll, the cross-tour does behave with more control on your favorite twisty road. Honda has gone with a constant steering gear ratio in place of the Accord's variable ratio steering for a more linear feel. So the cross tour, despite its added 400 plus pounds in this configuration, still drives with precision, though not with the same quickness. A 0 to 60 time of 7.4 seconds is comparable to the acceleration run you'll get in a four cylinder Accord sedan. The utility with style genre continues to grow, and of course, cargo room pays a bit of a price for the rounded as opposed to boxy rear styling. Though underneath the cross tour's rear hatch, you'll find over 41 cubic feet of available space. If you need good rearward visibility to back up, however, you'll want the rear camera to help out, as sight lines are tricky. That comes with the Navi system on my loaded four-wheel drive EXL, which carries a sticker price of 36930 Mileage is rated at 17 MPG City and 25 Highway. Inside the Cross Tour, you'll feel just like you're in an Accord with familiar controls and a high-quality feel. Infotainment controls have gone a little askew over the years, but once you've got it down, it's a solid system. So it comes down to your opinion on the car's design. After all, this burgeoning genre portends style first and utility second. So if you think the Cross Tour is unattractive, does it completely miss the mark? That's a question left up for you to decide. For Drive Time on Yahoo Autos, I'm Steve Hammes.